Hello everybody from YouTube, my name is Random Lewis Guy, and today I am bringing you a tutorial on how to change your icons in Ubuntu 14.10. Um, this is the first Ubuntu channel I have, uh, Ubuntu video I've uploaded to my channel in a while. The last couple of videos have been Windows related, but this is, um, Ubuntu, so welcome back guys. Um, I did release a video on how to do this on Windows not too long ago, I think it was just the other day. Um, and I've got a couple of views on that already, which is pretty impressive. Uh, you know, just a couple of days, I've already got three or four views. That's about one view per day. Thank you very much, guys, for all the support. And we're going to talk about changing, like I said, we're going to talk about changing our icons here. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to download um, this little application called Unity Tweak Tool. So we're just going to go into Terminal. You can either click on it. You can search it up here. Or you can, you know, just hit Control alt t if you're lazy. But anyway, open up Terminal, and um, you're going to say sudo apt install, and then unity tweak tool. Okay, your password. And it's going to go ahead and install the unity tweak tool. I've seen some videos on YouTube which it requires you to go and grab repositories first, but I was not I did I was not required to do that. Now once it's downloaded, just uh, launch it by just typing it in, and this little thing right here should pop up. Now we're gonna get into this in just a second, so we're gonna minimize that, and we're now gonna go and grab our icon packs. We're gonna go into our browser and. Let's see, we're going to type in uh, icon packs for Ubuntu. And we're going to scroll down to best icon packs. And we're going to scroll down here, or you can find them basically anywhere. But here we go. Uh, I'm going to install Numix, so we just need to grab a quick repository. Um, so that's going to be sudo apt uh, repository uh, PPA, Numix, and uh, slash PPA. I can go ahead and say that, uh, see, can I, here, um, I don't know what my terminal's doing here, are you still doing stuff? Well, you should be done anyway, so, uh, yeah, you're running something live, I believe you're running, um, the Unity Tweak tool because we launched that from the terminal, but we're going to go ahead and close that because it doesn't matter for now. We're just going to do uh, sudo apt uh, add apt, sorry about that, and then repository um, ppa uh, it is new mix slash ppa And if I did this right, yep, let's go ahead here and do that. Now we're going to do, this is not a necessary step, but it is suggested whenever you add new repos repositories to your system to do an update afterwards. Um, and once it's done, we are just going to go ahead and copy this because it's going to take me way too long to type that. Uh, so we're going to copy this into the terminal. Ubuntu, please add Control V for paste in terminal. It is such a pain in the butt to have to paste manually. I don't like that. Add it, please. Thank you. So that's going to install now. And wait for it to finish installing here. Get rid of that. And it is still unpacking. Wow, you're taking quite a long time, Mr. Terminal. Oh, you did something. Did you? Nope, you're still unpacking. Well, you are continuing to unpack various objects down here, so I shall be back in just a second whenever this is done. Alright, you guys, it is done doing its thing. I'm going to go ahead and uh, 
go back into my Unity Tweak tool and I can just launch it from searching it here. Or I spoke wrong. Apparently I cannot. Um, we'll just launch it from here. Uh, tweak tool. We're going to launch that. We are going to go down to icons. And here we have a new mix circle. We can just click on that. Uh, you know, we have, you know, any one of these that we can select. And, you know, now we have ourselves our fancy icons. Um, I'm going to leave it like that. And I've heard that there is a glitch. And I believe I may have already applied this. But if you go into launcher and then set transparency level way down and set the custom to black then it will actually allow you or maybe it's 100 percent it'll actually make the launcher on the left side of the screen completely clear so see i can just stick stuff through there right behind it it's great so anyway yep i hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh stick around and subscribe thumbs up comment etc for more windows and linux content in the future